Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void! Today, I'm gonna be a brave new world between uh, Srillic characters and Nord. Here on Romantis' side, bottom right, it is Nord. And in the top left, speaking, I don't know, Russian or Ukrainian, it is the Blue Terran. Um, we're gonna call him Sam, how about that? Is this, uh, is this like a hand drawn spinning logo? I feel like it is. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but uh, we've got a fox spinning around the uh, Protoss uh, Nexus here from Nord. And it's a PVT. So, Brave New World is my every other week examination of what's going on in Bronze and Silver League. We are here to have fun and here to learn stuff. And if you want me to cast your Brave New World replay, make sure it is Silver or a Bronze League. And send it to Sniper Monkey at the email address in the description here. If you don't send it to Sniper Monkey, but send it to me, I'm going to throw it in the trash, okay? Sniper Monkey's been doing this for a very long time now. Mm, Alright, so, Kachow, Gateway coming up, Barracks coming up, all inside the main base, and... Uh, okay... That was interesting, pulling three SCVs off to chase the probe. It was just scouting, man. Everything's okay. It's not a cannon rush. And a double gas opening here from Sam. Alright, let's see if he does something with it. Double gas openings for Terran usually result in an early cyclone, an early tank, maybe a battle cruiser rush. But at the lower level, sometimes it just means you have a lot of extra gas while you're making marines. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what's going on here. <laughs> Cybernetics core coming up. Okay, and another pylon. Good, good. Continually making pylons. I love this. Uh, supply depot production is not as good for Sam. Oh, no, he is. He's doing it, Sam. I'm sorry. Don't let me shame you. You have it. You have this figured out. So, yeah, the, one of the biggest things you can teach lower-level players about StarCraft is continually be making probes and pylons and overlords and drones and SCVs and supply depots, okay? Always be making those things. Then you don't get supply blocked, and then you're not suddenly like, oh, I have 5,000 minerals and 6,000 gas, and I can't make anything because I have supply blocked. So always be making supply depots. Just never stop. Same thing with pylons down here for Nord. Okay, so second gate and a forge. Interesting. The second most important thing I tell to lower level players is go to lotv.spawningtool.com. That's T as in toolbox, okay? Spawning tool. And go to, uh, go to the build order section at the top there, and you can find build orders for your race for Protoss. And Protoss versus Terran, Protoss versus Zerg, Protoss versus Protoss, right? So if you click on Protoss vs. Terran, it'll give you a ton of great builds that you can follow. Just you can print them out and put them next to your desk. You can have them up on a second monitor if you have two monitors. You can follow along. It'll teach you when to build your buildings and what to do. So generally what you want to do against a Terran is go for a one gate expand, which means you just go for one gate, right? <clears throat> then go for the expansion. Well, get a gas in there and then get your second gas and a second pylon. And a cyber core. And it's just, it's a really economical opening. You have two Nexuses making probes all the time. Instead of just one. And then you're a lot happier. You can build more stuff, right? Same thing for Terran. If you go to lotv.spottingtool.com, you can see some good build orders for Terran at the same time. Terran against Protoss, Terran against Zerg, Terran against Terran. It's great. Oh, we're making, look at this. We're making supply depots. Up. He has way more supply than he needs, but that is so much better at this level than not having enough supply. It just is. This will get you killed at the professional level. Like, if you, if you have 60 available supply at the first three minutes, uh, you're probably not doing it right if you're Maro and you're going to lose the game. But, at the lower level, pff, lesser of two evils, man. Definitely go for more supply over too little supply. I think that's something that Sam has learned. So, he is going for a pretty quick starport. And making a couple barracks in addition. So, we've got three barracks, a factory, which is building Widow Mines, and a starport, which is building a medevac. <gasps> Is he doing a very fast, kind of one base Widow Mine drop? He got a second base in here too, so I love that from him. He didn't rally the SCVs! Okay, pro tip, if you click on, there you go, if you click on your your your, your main structure here, Town Hall structure, and then right click on Minerals, that indicates to the structure that workers that come out of it should go to that mineral patch first, okay? Great. So he figured it out, but that, that was a good example of showing what happens if you don't do that. As SCVs sit down here at the bottom of your base like you're playing Brood War, which doesn't have worker rallies. And therefore, uh, a lot of StarCraft players hate it for that reason. So Nord's getting a second base too. It's a little bit late, but he does get observers out fast, which is actually awesome. 
Having detection out when you're worried and you've dealt with spider mine or bleh, widow mine drops forever is great. Having detection is going to save you immensely. It might not save your first round of probes from dying if you're a bronze level player, but you know what? You can kill the widow mine if you have detection available. Actually, if there's not an armory, which there isn't for Sam, then they're not going to be permacloaked after they fire. So never mind. Observer not really going to help a lot in this situation. Although it will help you kill it if it hasn't fired yet. So that's pretty good. But if it's a Terran, if you want your Widow Mines to be permanently cloaked all the time, then uh, definitely get that armory and that will get the upgrade automatically, which is phew, it's real nice. You should do it. More Widow Mines. So yeah, an armory will be fantastic. So if you're doing this sort of thing, really time is of the essence right now. So it's kind of blindly flying in. I, the two cannons here are probably overkill, but you know what? If it prevents you from losing like eight probes, that's worth it right there, isn't it? Isn't it worth it? Oh, and he's pulling the probes out. Ugh, that would of mine does manage to burn a position where it kills a probe. <laughs> All right, now bring your bring your army up and kill it, though. No, Nord, what are you looking at? Oh, he just looked at it. He he can see it. Okay, cool. So he warps in a stalker right on top of it to deal with it, and it will kill it before it fires again. And by that, I mean it's close, but it's going to kill it. Yeah. All right, well done. I don't think that was uh, timed out by Nord like to the second, but it was pretty good. Nevertheless, wow, Sam is building a ton of production. Sam. Sam is doing some good stuff. You'll notice he's almost supply blocked now because he built a ton of supply depots, and then he stopped. Ah, what did I say? N always be making supply depots. I didn't say make a bunch of them and then stop making them. So that's the problem for Sam, is he's going to be supply blocked in about, uh, as soon as he makes anything, which he's not doing right now, he's just getting upgrades and buildings. I love the third CC though, wait, I love the third C, oh, just building on location, of course. <laughs> yeah, why not? Usually pros will build it kind of here, and then lift it and land it down there, it's safer to build that way, or like here, but, nah man, Sam's not worried about Protoss attack at all, he's just building on site, and everything is cool. The super coolest. I mean, the Protoss is not really interested in moving out at all. He's kind of stopped making army. <laughs> this is a larger problem here. He's made exactly six Dockers and a Sentry in about seven and a half minutes. He's spending his money. It's just on upgrades and tech structures and probes because he's doing well here. 33 probes is nice. 31 SCVs for Sam is also very good. Also, he's got an Observer up. He knows it's a ton of bio. So he's going, okay, man, Templar Archives, he feels brave. He's going for some of that psionic storm. Army Valley's 50 to 21. I mean, Sam's been making Marines and Medivacs and stuff a lot more than the, again, failing to build anything Protoss here from Nord. Who Nord? If you lose this game, it's going to be because you are not interested in making army at all. I can't, like, what? He still has, okay, he's so eight stalkers now. I apologize. He's made two stalkers since I complained. Fair, fair. It's all fair, man. So, attacking into the third base, which is undefended. For now. And, yeah. So, he's going for the big damage, right? You want to kill your opponent's main town hall structure. That hurts. But, that's what we call non-guaranteed damage. See? Is this object lesson? Object lesson. There it is. So, you spent all that damage, all that firepower, trying to kill this orbital, and he didn't even kill it. What you could have done is killed supply depots, three of them. Could have killed a couple more SCVs and gotten some guaranteed damage instead of the non-guaranteed damage, which is, well, normally uh, this will not burn down and die, but, oh, we called a mule in. All right, Sam figured it out. Third base in trouble. Call down a mule. Rep wait, but you have to, re there you go. Repairing. Excellent. Sam decides it's time to go. It's like, if all he's got is a handful of stalkers, then He's super dead. And he sort of is. Like, these guys have got stim. The High Templar don't have storm yet. So, like, the Zealots just sort of melt. Yeah, look at that. Zealots die. Sentry dies. He's focusing the High Templar down, which he doesn't need to do. But, hey, he doesn't know that. My gosh. 84 to 11 army supply. Uh, Nord? <laughs> Nord might just die. Sam knows how to play this matchup. It's just Marines and Medivacs, man. Pylon dead. Zealots brr, 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 just gone, 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 gone. They're trying to heal up the through the nope. Shield battery not good enough. Shield battery overcharge also not good. Wait, it wasn't good enough. Then he stopped attacking. Oop. 
probes are actually fighting here too! Oh my gosh, the shield battery overcharge and extra zealots actually clean that up. Are you kidding me? It was like 83 to 10 supply. Okay, in fairness, a lot of the supply is over here. Uh, the reinforcement timing was not great, which is understandable in a brave new world game. Oh my gosh. That was incredible. I cannot believe that one zealot. He was dead. That was a mistake from Sam. Sam had it dead and then was like, oh, it's being overcharged healed. Go try to kill the shield battery and that's what messed him up. That's what totally messed him up. And guess what? Storm's done now. And you know what happens to Mass Marina against Storm, or you know, against Colossus, for example. Bad things. Really, really bad things. Wow. This is good. This is a good Brave New World. Thank you for selecting it for me, Sniper Monkey. I do appreciate it. Again, if you want me to cast your Brave New World game, send it to Sniper Monkey at the email address listed in the description. Put Brave New World in the subject, okay? Boop. Dead. All right, so storms, yep. Ah, the storm dodging is not real. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, and feedbacks. Nord is doing feedbacks. Oh. Oh my gosh. So that High Templar has a bunch of kills. One of them has a bunch. Where's the one that has a ton of kills? What? Did they die? The ones that got the kills might have died. But wow. Storm, look, man. If you're trying to get promoted out of Brave New World status, out of Silver or Bronze, learn how to use Storm, and you will be a happy camper. Both against Zerg and against Terran. And honestly, against Protoss to a certain extent, too. It's like, eh, I don't like what I see there. If you had charge, this would be a different battle. My gosh, the Zealots would have won. Wait. The Zealots win anyway without charge, so it would have been a crazy win with charge. So Nord has started floating a bit of cash. He's got three bases. There's a drop over here. <gasps> Look at Sam using drops. Oh my god. Okay, the cannons are not really dying as well as he wants them to because... She oh, out of, out of energy on the shield battery, though. Oh, uh, now they have charge, and now you pick up. I know you have medevacs and everything, but seriously, man. Pick up. Not picking... Okay, not picking up. And everybody on the ground gets absolutely brutally killed. I don't think any of those zealots died either. Shield battery overcharges up at the same time. 88 marines have died today. That's a lot of marines. That's a lot of marines. 22 zealots. So the numbers sort of... Sort of kind of makes sense here. This is good. This is... Uh... <laughs> there are a lot of lessons to be had for sure. So Nord taking a fourth base at 12 minutes, which is honestly not unreasonable. Not by any stretch is this unreasonable. And uh, Nord warping in some zealots up here with a warp prism. So we're seeing some stuff we don't normally... Ah, oh, it's too many though. We don't normally see... Okay, get some storms off. Take a lot of marines with you guys. There you go. Yeah, we don't usually see medevac drops. We don't usually see warp prism play at the lower levels. These two guys, I think... These two players are on their way up. If I had to guess what's going on here. Uh, army. Oh, okay, okay. So the Zealots come into third base and absolutely wreck some supply depots. And kill a bunch of SCVs. And these mules might not die, but they're going to expire soon anyway. So it doesn't really matter. And meanwhile, up oh, forcing a cancel on the 6 o'clock here is Sam. Sam heading up the ramp. Charge lots, bunker, not, no match. No match for the charge lots with one, one, one upgrades. And uh, suddenly we're in a bit of a base trade ish scenario here. Zealots are taking longer to die, but still can't hold up in those numbers to that number of Marines. So, yeah. Suddenly Sam's income is one base. And oh my gosh, he's dropping up here too. Yep. All right, this is turning into a quite a cluster in a Brave New World game. I love to see it. I love to see games where it comes down to, like, base racing or base trading with lower-level players. Oh, my gosh, the storm! Ah! The High Templar are killing things that there's so little energy on these, on these, or so little HP on these Marines. You need, he needs to keep going. Sam, push the front, dude. Push the front. Also, there's been no response down here. Uh, this drop in the main is really damaging, Nord. Ah, Nord takes a sneaky base up on the top right and says, who needs traditional third bases? Those are dumb. 
We're not microing at all, but you know what? It's okay. Oh, shield battery is a problem. Oh my gosh, the shield battery is a problem. Wow, okay. Those Marines are all sorts of dead. These Marines, who are kind of indiscriminately attacking, also a bunch in the back here, are just having a smoke break with their guns out. And they're all going to die because these are strong zealots. And they have charge now. That ch Again, it changes everything. Oh, probes are trying to transfer over to their new fourth base. No, at least he pulled those away. That was pretty good stuff. So the natural base is dead for Sam. His third base is alive. But he's down 33 to 18 total workers right now, which is real, real bad. Yeah, Sam had the opportunity to win this game uh, about, you know, seven minutes ago when he had an 88 to 11 army supply difference, but most of his army was left back at home. If he just brings everything, shield battery overcharge does not matter anymore. And he wins the game. And I've been talking about this a lot recently, but there are always windows where if you watch your replays, you'll be like, oh, he didn't have anything. I could have killed him easy. And then you feel bad about it. You can cancel buildings that are under construction too. Pro tip for Sam there. If you're gonna lose a base, select it, press escape, and it will stop building. Cancel and give you like a 75, 80% refund. Not bad. Ooh, okay, all right. Four SCVs are going to die. I don't know if Sam can win this game if he's down to under 10 SCVs, which he's going to be. Uh, these guys are keeping the Marines busy. These zealots are just randomly doing zealoty things against... Uh, yep, there you go. Nine SCVs in the bag. And I think Sam might be dead. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the number of bases available. The amount of mining available. I mean, these are idle probes, obviously, but, you know. There's worse things. I love the fact that we just keep getting like two or three random stalkers in this game. And all of them die because they're so bad against marines. Is this guy still up here? We forgot about this guy. He got nine kills. He's going to take down an orbital by himself because Sam does not want to kill him. For some reason. That I don't understand. Hey man. Man, he's Bob the Zealot here. He's got a serious quest to kill this. Ah, oh, the Marines figured it out. Okay. Never mind. This is possibly... Okay, that's a lot of medevacs. Maybe it's way too many medevacs for how many Marines there are. But that's what happens when your opponent doesn't have a lot of stalkers, is your medevacs can survive battles. Uh, your Marines don't, but your medevacs do. I mean, five medevacs have died, so he's been producing them pretty effectively. But, uh, like... Can only medevacs can only heal one guy at a time. So you'll notice these some of these medevacs are sitting here doing nothing because there's no one for them to heal because there's just too many. Uh, too. Oh, all right, all right. Hang on, these marines are doing better than I expected them to. Yeah, cancel, cancel, Nord, Nord. I don't think Nord knows about canceling either necessarily. And the base goes down. So we've got 1-1 one, one for everybody. Nobody's getting further upgrades, but you're making 10 Marines at a time here from Sam. That is what we like to see. Oh, this long-distance probe transfer stuff. Sam's just sitting on it like a predator. Just waiting. That's got to be satisfying as a Marine, right? You and your buddies are just casually firing away at Protoss buildings and they just explode. And we leave leave this pylon as a message to the others. Shield battery overcharge is up, but you'll notice... Not helping all that. Actually, not healing anything. What is it? Oh, wait, wait we're healing, but see how it doesn't matter? Yeah, Marine DPS is really good. And I think this might be it. Like, Nord is done. He's down 61 to 6 army supply. It's 7 to 37 workers, though. Like, more storm. Just, like, more storm from Nord. He's got the resources for storm. By that, I mean not many minerals, but a ton of gas. That's how you, that's how you make High Templar, is that. So, yeah. Do we have any High Templar up at the top? Oh, we do have a High Templar up here, but he doesn't have energy for Storm. So that's not great. He's warping in additional High Templar, but it's too late. You can't wait for them to get... Maybe you can wait for them to get enough Storm. Maybe it takes that long for for Sam to get through your front door. Dude, this is... Okay, this is insane. Look at him. He's just hi he's hiding his High Templar over here. He's like, no, don't, don't mind me. 
We're, we're just, we're out of your field. Oh, no, we can see one. Dude, you gotta run over and, ah, oh, it's done. The storm is done. Oh no, <laughs> who has another one? Who has, somebody has another one. Yes, he does. He, oh, the, no, the Nexus goes down, but the Marines are all dead. And suddenly Sam's been knocked down to 35 army supply and he still has seven SCVs. I think he chose poorly. Oh, he had utter control of that game. He doesn't know about this though, that's a problem. Where did you think those probes were going, Sam? Sam, where did you think those probes were going? Oh, he doesn't know about this. He made the decision to spend whatever remaining money he has left and whatever income he gets from this on Marines. Instead of, you know, making some SCVs, rebuilding the economy. I, I mean, I guess he's sending the orbital over to the natural base. It will have two base economy now. And it's really just a one base Protoss. So, I mean, maybe, maybe Sam can win this game. I like this from Nord. He's taking a third now. Oh, this is good. This, this is some good Brave New World. I am enjoying myself immensely here. All right, another drop. The secret weapon of Sam's arsenal is the drops. Silence. A hush falls over Romanticide. Even the music is quiet as this drop moves in for the kill. And stalkers warp in to try to deal with this. Oh, no! The metaphor. No! No! The metaphor! <laughs> The medevacs were all incredibly injured! How many marines perished inside those medevacs? Oh, that was crazy. Oh, but there was some dude. What? How? Okay. Some of them were not in the medevacs and therefore unaffected. But here comes the Storm Rooney. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Storm changes everything. It changes everything. If you're a Protoss player, if you're trying to deal with this army without Storm, with, you know, just zealots and stalkers and like immortals and stuff, you're gonna die. But once you have Storm, bam, you are the overpowered one. You can handle Marines with ease. Well, maybe not with ease, but you got them away. You killed them all. How many? 247 Marines have died. Oh, snap. Sam has decided to build something else. He's building Liberators and Marauders. Okay, I like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. If your opponent really can't shoot up because they literally have three stalkers in their army. Liberators are going to be great. More Liberators, maybe even. Uh, also, a Fusion Core. Because maybe we're going to make some Battle Cruisers. Because again, nothing can shoot up here but three Stalkers, and it's just not great anti air. He doesn't know about this. He thinks, he thinks all that Nord has is this, and he's feeling more confident than he should. Oh, look at this income difference. Oh, actually, you know what? Mules are good. <laughs> Mule just toss down some mules on his natural. So he has equal mineral income to Nord, who has three times as many workers as he does, because that's how this matchup works. Mules are good units. Okay, two liberators. That's actually, if this isn't handled well. What the heck was that? Was that a random medevac that just died? Oh yeah, there's a medevac left here. Yeah, just scouting. You know, just scouting is fine. All right. Observer does see these Liberators incoming. Oh, more Stalkers get warped in. No, but if you set up on this other side of the thing, though, then... The, okay, well, they can blink. Never mind. I take it back. Nord knows how to blink. You can't hide across here. Don't do that. <laughs> Not against a Protoss who has blink. Okay, so nice job by Nord. He sees the Liberators incoming. He makes more Stalkers, so now he has eight. That's great. But Marauder, good unit. Additional upgrades would be fantastic here too, y'all. Uh, one, one, one is great for, for Protoss, but getting two, two, and even three, three would really help you win this game. Same with Sam sitting on one, one. Three, three Marines and Marauders with Stim are just, they have the damage output unlike anything in the game. They just do. And a little tight compact space too, that's part of it. So you can fit a lot of Marines and Marauders into a little square. So per, like per square inch, the best. Nord expanding to a one, two, three, four, fifth, a fifth base. Okay, the fourth base was at about 24 minutes, or about 12 minutes, and this one's at 24, fair enough. 
46 to 44 army supply, but Storm is the great equalizer. Guys trailing behind. Got some zealots, got some stalkers. We're just going to warm up by killing these rocks. Don't mind us. The rocks deserve it. Okay, good. We're warmed up. Let's go. Hmm, two battle cruisers on the way here from Sam. Oh, the observer gives high ground vision. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's great. That is. You don't even have to come up all the way all the way up the ramp. Oh my goodness. Storm good unit. Why are you not attacking the Marauders? Okay. You attack the Marauders, it's okay. A natural base dies. A handful of SCPs go down, and Orbital's gonna die here too. And okay, actually, Nord, or rather Sam taking a 12 o'clock. Orbital down. There's nothing at the top of this ramp to stop anything from happening. Wait! Two battle cruisers have joined the arena. Uh, I do you storm them? I mean. You can't feed back them because they don't have energy anymore. There was a time they had they had they had energy. Oh my gosh, the stalkers are trading super well. What was I even thinking about? Stalkers are so good against BCs. Wow. Wait, the Marines are whittling. Okay, Storm comes in. There's only three Stalkers remaining, though. Storm, the there it is. A Storm on the battle cruiser. Some DTs coming in from. Where did I don't know where those guys came from at all. So the battle cruiser wins this fight, but can't see the DTs murdering all of his stuff. And I think, yep, that's it, man. Oh, he's gonna jump it. Where is he gonna jump it? No, but really. Oh, he just jumps it over to where Nord has some stalkers. Okay, now it's dead. Stalkers warping. Easy peasy. Bam. Nord is your winner. In 26 minutes. Nobody expects the 26 minute DT tech switch. That's for sure. <laughs> that was fun. That was a really fun, brave new world. Wow. Thanks again, Sniper Monkey. Thanks for sending that in, Nord, I assume, who sent that in. So I think Sniper Monkey got about three submissions over the last two weeks. So feel free to send more. If you've got a brave new world game, send it in. Be happy to screen it. Uh, Sniper Monkey loves that stuff. That was good. We will call this game Storm's Good Unit. And we will call this game Don't Make Just Marines Against Protoss if the Protoss is any good at all because you will die. Because, look at this, uh, 280 Marines died today. The handful of other stuff, two Liberators, three Marauders, whatever. Two, it was Marine. He would try to go Marine against a Protoss, assuming that he wouldn't know how to use Storm. Or, you know, make Colossus, I guess. And he did. And he paid for it. Resources lost here today, 26 to 25,000. So, I mean, yes, Nord lost a lot, too. Mostly in Zealots in 92. Of those, 13 High Templar went down, 30 Stalkers. Uh, four Nexuses died, which is way more than I thought. But two orbitals and two command centers died uh, for Sam, too. So, just a bloodbath. That was great. That was some really nice back and forth. It was a good combination of, like, new players. But they didn't just sit in their bases and macro for 20 minutes and then, like, never move out, right? So, that's nice, too. Love to see that. So, I hope we learned a lot. I hope we had a lot of fun today. Because that's going to be it for me. So, this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you. With yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void in a Brave New World. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. Thank you.